India has issued a notum for an Indian Air Force exercise near the southern sector of the India-Pakistan border in Rajasthan, scheduled from June 7th to 8th. The aerial drill, running from 3.30 p.m. on Saturday to 9.30 p.m. on Sunday, will restrict airspace for operational safety. The exercise includes Rafale, Mirage 2000, and Sukhoi 30 jets, along with surveillance and support platforms. While officially routine, the drill follows heightened tensions after a May 7 terror attack in Pahalgam that killed 26 civilians. India responded with Operation Sindor and imposed airspace bans on Pakistani aircraft from April 30 to May 23, mirroring Pakistan's earlier restrictions. Tensions also persist along the LOC due to repeated ceasefire violations by Pakistani forces. NIBE Limited has secured a 10-year technology transfer agreement from DRDO for manufacturing the modular bridging system, a mobile mechanically launched bridge designed to support the movement of tracked and wheeled military vehicles across spans up to 46 meters. Announced on June 6, the deal grants NIBE exclusive rights to supply the system to Indian armed forces and government agencies. Targeting rollout within 24 months, the agreement marks NIBE's significant entry into the defense sector, aligning with the Make in India and Atmanur Barbaric goals. Despite reporting a 30% decline in net profit and a 25.8% revenue drop in Q4 financial year 2025, investor sentiment remained optimistic, with shares closing higher following the DRDO partnership announcement. In 2025, Indian quantum deep tech startup, Chubeats, won the Aditi 2.0 Defense Challenge, securing a Rs 25 crore grant to develop a cutting-edge quantum positioning system, QPS, for the Indian Navy. The system, based on quantum magnetometer technology, aims to provide precise navigation in GPS-denied or spoofed environments, crucial for modern military operations. Unlike conventional satellite-based systems, Chubit sensors rely on Earth's magnetic anomalies for location tracking. The startup, founded by experts in physics, engineering, and defense, is also developing a suite of quantum devices, including gyroscopes, atomic clocks, and radars. Currently raising seed funding, Chubits is positioning itself as a strategic force in India's quantum technology landscape, targeting both defense and civilian applications in a potential $10 billion global market. In a recent panel discussion, strategic experts examined the evolving India-US relationship, suggesting it is currently being tested, following the May 10 ceasefire, that ended a brief but intense military conflict between India and Pakistan. While the US claimed it played a role in halting hostilities, India asserted that Pakistan requested the ceasefire after suffering significant losses. Experts noted that despite some characterizations of the partnership as transactional, the broader trajectory of India-US ties shows continuity and resilience, especially after key moments like the 2020 Gowan crisis. As global power dynamics shift and regional tensions rise, analysts emphasize that both nations remain aligned strategically, particularly in defense cooperation, and should focus on strengthening ties ahead of upcoming high-level summits. Following India's high-impact Operation Sindor in May 2025, which targeted key Pakistani airbases in retaliation for an April terror attack in Pahalgam, a Pakistani delegation reportedly traveled to the U.S. to request advanced radar and air defense systems. The Indian Air Force's precision strikes between May 8 to 10 exposed serious gaps in Pakistan's China-supplied air defenses, destroying up to 20% of its air assets, including F-16s, JF-17s, and AWNC aircraft. India's use of loitering munitions, anti-radiation drones, and missiles like Scalp overwhelmed Pakistan's HQ-9 and FD-2000 defenses. Now, Pakistan is believed to be seeking systems, like the Patriot or F-16 upgrades, highlighting concerns over its reliance on Chinese tech and placing the US in a sensitive diplomatic position amid growing ties with India. Nearly a year since the fall of Sheikh Hasina's government, Bangladesh remains without a clear election timeline. 
Interim Government Chief Advisor, Muhammad Yunus, seen as acting like a de facto prime minister, recently announced that elections will now be held in April 2026, despite earlier promises for polls in 2025. This delay has sparked criticism from both major political parties, BNP and Awami League, who rejected his announcement and demanded elections by the end of 2025, initially hinting at resignation under military pressure. Yunus has instead tightened his grip, making unilateral decisions that many see as favoring foreign interests. His leadership, criticized as unaccountable and autocratic, faces mounting opposition from political forces and the military, deepening Bangladesh's political uncertainty. India has initiated a pre-feasibility study for the ambitious Chinnabravi Bia Sutlej Link Canal project, aiming to divert 15 to 20 million acre-feet of Chinab River water, currently flowing into Pakistan, towards Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan. This development follows the effective suspension of the Indus Waters Treaty, under which India was permitted only limited usage of Indus Basin waters. The Ministry of Jal Shakti, has begun evaluating canal infrastructure in Jammu and northern states to determine necessary upgrades for efficient water delivery. Simultaneously, India is accelerating new water storage and run-of-river projects while planning to push for an increased usage share of up to 40% in potential IWT renegotiations. The move signals a significant shift in India's strategy to assert control over vital water resources. The Indian Navy is preparing to commission its first anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft, Arnala, on June 18 at Naval Dockyard Visakhapatnam. The commissioning ceremony will be presided over by Chief of Defence Staff General Anil Chauhan and hosted by Vice Admiral Rajesh Penlerkar, signifying the formal induction of the first of 16 ASWSWC class vessels into the naval fleet, constructed under the Atmanur Burbard Initiative by Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers, GRSE Kolkata, in collaboration with LNT Shipbuilders, Arnala was delivered to the Navy on May 8, 2025. Named after the historic coastal Arnala Fort, the ship symbolizes resilience and maritime heritage. Built with over 80% indigenous content, it features advanced systems from Indian firms like BL, Mahindra Defense and MEIL, and involved over 55 MSMEs spanning 77.6 meters and weighing over 1,490 tons, Arnala is the largest Indian warship, using a diesel engine, water jet propulsion system. It is equipped for subsurface surveillance, rescue missions and coastal operations. Its commissioning is expected to enhance India's coastal defense and reaffirm its status as a self-reliant maritime power in the Indian Ocean region. India has initiated a critical phase in the development of its indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter, TED-BF, for the Navy, with the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, formally launching work on a full-scale cockpit mock-up. This step, vital for refining the ergonomics and functionality of the fighter's control environment, is set to be completed in just five months. The TED-BF is expected to replace the aging Russian MiG-29K fleet, aboard Indian aircraft carriers, marking a major leap in self-reliant defense capabilities. The development process has been split into two structured stages. In the first three months, engineers will finalize the layout of core cockpit elements, such as the pilot seat, main instrument panel, and 3D printed functional models of primary controls like the throttle and rudder. The next two months will focus on integrating advanced systems including digital displays, the head-up display, and logically grouped secondary controls. ADA will supply 3D blueprints to a selected manufacturing partner who will fabricate the mobile mock-up shell. This prototype will serve as a realistic evaluation platform, ensuring design precision before production begins. The entire schedule starts upon issuance of the official order, with stage-wise targets, fixed at T plus 3 and T plus 5 months.
India's Ministry of Defense formally approved the development framework for the AMCA, a fifth-generation stealth fighter designed to bolster the country's strategic autonomy under the Atmanirbha Bharat Initiative. Led by the Aeronautical Development Agency under DRDO, the project aims to equip the Indian Air Force with a modern, indigenous fighter, addressing capability gaps as the IF operates below its sanctioned squadron strength. The AMCA, envisioned as a 27-ton, twin-engine, 5.5-generation multirole fighter, will feature cutting-edge stealth design, internal weapons bays, supercruise capability, AI-driven avionics, and network-centric warfare systems. Development plans include five prototypes by 2027, a first flight by 2028, and induction into service by 2035 after certification. Former IF Chief RKS Badoria underscored the strategic need for an indigenous platform, citing drawbacks of foreign options like the Su-57 and F-35, including export restrictions and limited tech transfer. Initially powered by the GE F-414 engine co-produced with HAL, a more powerful MK2 variant will follow with a new 110 kN engine developed with an international partner. The AMCA is also being designed for future capabilities such as drone command and hypersonic weapon integration. That's all from YTS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.